Hello everybody, I'm back, and today we are going to tackle Rourke. Just gonna heal because I did do some training. I taught Aerosmith, Rock Smash, and grinded her up to level 13 so she can fight some stuff so Turtonator doesn't get overwhelmed. Scar hasn't changed. Astoria grew some levels just because she was the one to take out all the Machops. And then Magikarp and Donut also haven't changed. So yeah. I'm just gonna heal up because kinda low on PP. So yeah. Today we get to fight Rourke. Which should be fun. I'm gonna lead with Aerosmith. And try and use her to take out Geodude and maybe Onyx. I don't know. One thing that might trip me up is the combination of Bind and Pursuit. I believe Onyx is Bind and I think Krynidos is Pursuit. But I'm not entirely sure. So, Ready Rook, bring it on. Welcome, this is the Orberg Pokemon Gym. I'm Rourke, the gym leader. I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with Rock-type Pokemon. As the gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer. And I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokemon that battle with you. You are challenged by Leader Rourke. Alright, Rourke, let's do this. So I want to, at the very least of Aerosmith, take out Geodude. Because I'm not sure if Turtonator's Razor Leaf will one-shot. I remember my first time playing Platinum, I actually kept losing just because Turtonator would be... Or not Turtonator, my Turtwig just wasn't strong enough to one-shot everything and then just got knocked out all the time. So, I'm a bit cautious of that. Besides, it looks like Aerosmith's got this. Onyx's bind could be a bit of a pain, though. Potion. Okay, more smashing rocks, Aerosmith. I'm totally fine if Rourke wastes potions on Geodudes. <laughs> it missed, too. <laughs> awesome. Oh, you're going straight for Kranidos. Alright, chance of rock smash. Then with Leer we should probably switch out. Yeah, that should be good. Pursuit. Crap! I was just talking about that, I was- okay good. Aerosmith lives! Even though she will probably not be on my team for much longer just because well, she headbutt. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. That's strong. Yeah, Cranidos is no joke for a first gym. But yeah. Just because Aerosmith can't, I can't get gold, so... I know, I don't really want to use Aerosmith, but she is really useful for this battle. Alright, Turtonator, you can absorb the... Onyx, right? Crap, it's faster. I'm dead. Am I dead? Please. Okay, good. I'm not dead. Phew! <laughs> I'm like, so worried for Turtonator because this game loves throwing critical hits at me. Didn't kill it, but doesn't matter. Thanks for the battle work. I will gladly take your badge. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually shocked Aerosmith lived. The fool's Onyx has energy drained. If it only because minus one pursuit from a Kranidos, or like minus one defense, pursuit, double power. If if the Geodude had landed that last rock throw, Aerosmith would probably be dead. So thanks for the battle, Rock, and bye. This is embarrassing. I went and lost to a trainer who didn't have a single gym badge. 
don't you do that like every time someone challenges you? But that's tough. You were strong and I was weak. That's all there is. According to Pokemon League rules, I have to give you our gym badge since you've beaten me, the leader. Here's your official Pokemon League coal badge. And yay, Dawn received the coal badge from Roar. Now use the hidden move rock smash. You should also take this too. TM76. I believe that's Stealth Rock. Excellent move in competitive play. Kinda useless in playthroughs. So yeah. How close was Aerosmith to dying? 7 HP. Good job, Aerosmith. It's actually kind of a shame he'll be pretty much relegated to rock smashing duty. That's just the way it goes sometimes. Let's put magic crap back in the front. Nope. What confuses me is B is where I'm used to A is, and A is where I'm used to B is. Does that make sense? So I ended up I ended up backing out of a lot of menus, I noticed. So now let's go up to Flo Aroma Town. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Alright. So now we just need to bring the other three members of the team up to that level. Oh, hey, Barry, do you fight me? Thud. It's Roy. Whoops, Don, you got the gym badge, huh? Eternity City is the next place with a gym that gives away badges, right? So yeah, I went to Route 207, but you can't go there without a bicycle. I made my team battle and toughen them up, so it wasn't a waste. So I'm going back to Jubilee City. Next stop, the Eterna Gym Badge. Ten seconds before I dash. Nine? Bah, who's got time to count? <laughs> I love Barry. Or in this case, Roy. But yeah. I find him quite funny. Alright, there are still some trainers I didn't fight here. So let's start with fighting you, and this episode's gonna be mostly fighting trainers. I got a Nifty King gym badge from the gym leader in Order Orberg City. And it's this last battle line who has a Psyduck. So you're the one with the Psyduck. Magic crap, still can't do anything. And if I, I don't, I can't really send in Aerosmith, so let's go send in Scar. Aerosmith's close to leveling up, but pretty sure Psyduck knows Water Gun. <laughs> Alright, so... I'm gonna have to switch out. <laughs> I'll go back into Magikrap, and then back into Scar, just to be on the safe side. Just because I'm now at three defense drops, and... Okay, it's... I mean, he's at minus one attack currently. So if I go back into Scar, I have minus two attack, so still be at minus one in case he uses another Tail Whip. Scratch. Okay. Yeah, the minus intimidate is such a good ability. So let's just keep tackling. And then one more tackle and we beat last Madeline. And then we can go fight the other last. And then we can go to the next turn and fight all those trains there. And yay, Scar is now level 10. Oh, I lost. La la la. Hey. Okay, I guess we can fight this random Pokemon. Bidoof! No! It's gonna crit someone. <laughs> that was still just insane. Let's try Scar for Intimidate. 
and they're gonna growl. So now we're pretty close to the ability to attack. Cool. So tackle. And then Beedoo's gonna growl again. I might have to switch out because Scar's doing like nothing. Yep, a third growl. That's gonna be my cue to switch into Magic Craft and reset the stats. Don't want to switch into Tertinator or Astoria or Aerosmith because, well, you know, they're higher levels. So, I don't want to give them even more experience. Did that tackle seriously just do one damage? To a Magikarp! It's a Magikarp! Oh well. Magikarp is apparently tanky. Which is good. Alright, Scar... Your turn again. Intimidated even more. And tackle does also one point of damage. Kinda wanna check Magic Crap's defense stat now because I don't think it's that high. Alright. There we go. Magic Crap. 24 experience. What's your defense, Magic Crap? 16. Okay, that's higher than the two actually tanky people. Like, Air they're supposed to be defensive, like Aerosmith and Turtonator. It's higher than Scar's, despite Scar being two levels higher. It's higher than Astoria's, despite Astoria being four levels higher. And it's higher than Donuts, but they're the same level. Do it again. Gonna potion up- no, I don't- probably don't need to potion up Scar after this fight. You! I found a trainer while looking for some Pokémon. Well, I just found a Bidoof. Oh, okay. Bidoof! Okay, it's level 4. Still don't think Donut can fight that because Leech Life is an awful, awful move. So let's go into Scar again. Just gonna put it on super speed because this fight is really kind of pointless. Starly, also level 4. And I'm only really doing it because I didn't do it on the way here. Oh god, crit. Oh god, crit. But you I have a feeling if I switch into Magikraft it would absorb and absorb Magikraft doesn't like absorbs. You know what, let's prolong this episode even longer. Let's have Donut fight this buddy. You. you missed twice. Donut Okay, thanks. Oh, good chunk of damage. Actually, Donut could probably stay in and handle this whole fight. Abra. Now, are you one of the people who cheated technically and gave your Abra hidden power? Which could be dangerous, but I don't know. Donut will probably one-shot it. Yep. For, for good measure. Good job, Donut. Alright, let's keep going. Starly. Let's go back into Donut, just because Scar is on low health, and Donut can actually fight some of these guys.
Leech Life is gonna be so... Yeah, that did like nothing. That did probably one damage. Thankfully, Starly just needs to hit itself in confusion one more time. Crap. Come on, Donut. There, good job. And she should level up. Nope. One more fight. Let's go heal. Oh hey, it's Looker! Tell me, have you not obtained a pal pad? It's not a pal pad free to anyone visiting the Pokemon Center's basement. Anyway, there appears to be no one shady in this jubilant city. I shall therefore take my investigation elsewhere. But, my fri friend, I suggest you remain vigilant for shady grown-ups. The best part is there is actually shady grown-ups in Jubilife City. And they're just up there. That is that is great. That is just amazing. <laughs> I am so happy that he's the recurring character of the series. He's in every single game in some way, shape, or form since Platinum. I think he might have been in Diamond and Pearl too. So yeah, looking forward to how he appears in Sun and Moon, even if it's just a little Easter egg. Alright, let's go fight some shady grown-ups. Now, 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 now! Professor Rowan, you must comply! Hand over all your research findings, for free, naturally. Failure to comply will result in a painful time for your assistant. Ah, oh, Don, well, how is the Pokedex progressing? Hmm, that's Orberg's gym badge, I see. But I haven't given you your first po I hadn't I given you your first Pokemon only recently? Perhaps being a trainer is like second nature to you. Yeah, I've only had one death and it was completely my fault. Oh, Professor of Pokemon, must you be so difficult? We are speaking to you on business because this is work for us. What we're saying is we demand you comply with our demands. Quiet, you lot. Why must you be such a nuisance? Let me list some lessons you still need to learn. Don't loiter about for no good reason. Don't interrupt others while they are attempting to converse. If you don't get your way, don't raise your voice when you tune in. Don't think you're going strong just because you're in group. What is with those outlandish outfits you have on? <laughs> My goodness, you call yourselves adults? You kids, don't grow up to be like these sorry specimens. <laughs> yeah, you had to make this personal. We have forced our- you have forced our hand into making a show of force. We will make you regret insulting Team Galactic. You kids, give these thugs a lesson in civility, please. Sure, let's fight some shady grown-ups. It's a double battle with Galactic Grunt and Galactic Grunt. This is Team Galactic. They are the evil team of this game. And instantly I'm going to need to switch out... Probably to Scar because Dona in no way can handle them on her own. I think Stunky is Pursuit, or one of them I think had Pursuit, so I'm kind of glad they didn't use it. And Scar gets another Intimidate off. Scratch? Okay, they I've noticed a lot of the times... Oh god, I'm switching out. Aerosmith, you want to take care of this? You resist their stuff? Wait, I've noticed that the AI in double battles like this seems to be programmed to take on Dawn slash Lucas more often than not. Like so. Alright. Aerosmith, let's rock and roll. Nope, don't want to tackle. Yeah, I might keep Aerosmith on my team, actually. She is... Yeah, they seem to target Pip up. Like, she'll be really awful late game because she can't evolve past Graveler. But at the same time, she's so helpful right now. Maybe it's because everything's weak to Rock Smash. And yay, Magikrap is level 9. And Scar is level 11. Two more levels and then Scar gets Spark. And Aerosmith is level 14, so she is now my highest level team member. Okay. Let's... Gonna switch out into Donut. 
because I want Donut to get some experience. And then I'll go back into... You know what, actually, Donut, you can help out a bit by using Supersonic. We'll be on our own in a few turns. Screech. Okay, good, you're targeting Piplup again. Yeah, let's keep Donut in until she gets hit by a Screech. Alright, Piplup's got one more turn. Confused, hit yourself. No, Fury- oh god, it hit Donut. Okay, okay, we're fine. I feel like I panic every time I get hit. After what happened to Justin, I... don't know. <laughs> Alright. Bubbles should hopefully finish it off. Yay, we did it! In a crit for good measure. Good job, Donut. Your Supersonic did nothing, your Leech Slick might have well done nothing, but that's how early game Zubats go. And Donut is now level 9. Astonished, so we have a move that's slightly stronger than Leech Life. The two of us losing to children? This won't do. Time to retreat. This mission is a failure. And only Donut got a little hurt from that. You leave us no option. We will retreat for now. We should do so because Team Galactic is benevolent to all. <laughs> that lot, they called themselves Team Galactic. When Pokemon evolved, they seemed to release some type of energy. However, I believe that's a mystic power far beyond our control. But Team Galactic seems to be studying that power's potential. They want to know if it can be used as an energy for something. Don, did you know about this? The Professor studies the evolution of Pokémon, too. 90% of all Pokémon are somehow tied to evolution. That's the research the goons tried to take the Professor's research down. They're not allowed to do that. Yeah, they're shady grown-ups. You can't trust them. Kudos to you for your battling skill. Why don't you collect all the gym badges of Sinnoh? You'll be sure to encounter lots of Pokemon and only catch one per route. You're... In other words, it'll be great help to my research. I've given you your fo first Pokemon and Pokedex is yours. Take care now. Bye! And this guy's gonna give us the fashion case. Nicely done, truly excellent. I'm from Jubilife TV. I'd like you to ask something for letting me see that smashing battle. Yes, we were totally playing Smash Bros. Zuba is in Smash 4 or Smash 5. A whole spectrum of cheap accessories and tasteful backdrops. Dress out your Pokemon and watch their appeal grow, and right now the TV station is offering its facilities so visitors can dress up their Pokemon. Alright. Let's keep going. I'm gonna put Donut up front because I think the next trainer has just a Magikarp, and there's really no sense trying to switch train on it. Oh, I know, it's the... <laughs> Youngster is just a Magikarp, last doesn't. Oh, a weak-looking trainer? Do you want to have a go? Yeah, sure, I will enjoy playing Pokemon Go with you. A uh, Sarah, with your Shinx, which doesn't know Spark, thankfully, as a friend of mine told me that Shinx gets Spark at level 13. So let's go with the tried and true donut strategy. Confuse and just click moves and wait for Shinx to knock itself out. Tackle. Let's also try and flinch you. Just because. Confused, hit yourself. Thank you. Yeah, even with Astonish, Donut's still barely doing anything. There, good job. Good job, Donut. Okay, I'm gonna put the thing back on super speed while I fight all the trainers until we get to Ravage Path. And also, I wanna go get that item. Speed boost! It's a Parlez heal. I'm fine with a Parlez heal. Parlez heals could be helpful. Nope, Leech Life still isn't strong. Alright, critical hit, let's heal up Donut and keep going forwards. Mm. 
You're the guy with the magic heart, King's Platinum. I'll beat you with the magic heart my dad gave me. Hey, I've got a magic heart too, but if we do magic heart dittos, this is gonna be literally endless. Let's just use Leech Life. Magic heart does nothing but splash until level 15. This is going to be hilariously slow because Donut's weak. Okay, there, that's better. And Magikarp might as well not be doing anything. There. Let's keep going. One more trainer and this random Pokemon. So Starly, Donut can take care of that. This is going to be extraordinarily slow. I'm switching out in the effort to save time. Scar, can you just take care of this, please? Okay. Let's go fight this lass. May I please trouble you for a battle? This is Les Samantha, who has a buddy who don't can fight buddies. The same. Are we seriously gonna do this again, Donut? Are we seriously gonna do this again? No, okay. Donut! Seriously, Donut? Now it's at like plus three, so I can't even switch out. Donut! Donut! Come on, Donut! <laughs> okay, let's astonish it. And another crit. She's trying to make up for that. Okay, Leech Life can probably take it. And there, Donut is now level 10, so let's go back to Magikrat being in the front. Although, since we're about to catch something... Okay, there's three things you can get in the Ravage Path. Geodude, Zubat, and Psyduck. Any guesses as to which one I want? Let's go back here. There's an item. And our encounter is a WGW It's a Zubat. Oh, uh, I know what I'm gonna name you. It's fine. You can go to the box and you can be the replacement in case Donut dies. I'm gonna name you like the most generic thing ever. Wow, okay, I actually have to tackle you. Alright, that's fine. I was kind of hoping for a Psyduck, though Magikrap is objectively better than- Ma Gyarados is definitely better than Psyduck by the end of it, just in case Gyarados happens to die. Alright, go Scar! Tackle it, and if you knock it out, it's no big deal, but I'd actually prefer if you didn't knock it out. Just because it's a seventh Pokémon, so in case we get randomly get swept by something, Tackle. Okay, good. I will catch you, and I will call you Batman. Bang. Pokeball. No! Okay, am I actually gonna run out of Pokeballs on a Zubat? It's Zubat! Why- I mean, it's no big deal if I don't catch it. And there isn't anything I really need to get until Floroma, I mean, or- Like, there's no encounters until after Floroma where I can just- Good. Alright, you're gonna be Batman and you're gonna sit in the box until Donut dies. 
If she dies. Kind of hope she doesn't, though. Oh, crap, he's in the dead box. Batman is dead. <laughs> nah, just kidding. TM39 Rock Tomb. Awesome, I might give that to Aerosmith. If I, since I do actually want to keep her around now. Because she was, she's been really helpful. I was scared she was going to die. <laughs> Alright, another Zubat. No qualms about killing you. You're exactly the same as Batman. Except maybe like nature and IVs are probably completely different. Let's go into Scar because Donut would take forever. And I'm going to speed up this battle. One thing I'm kind of shocked is that I don't have a Bidoof. I mean, I would have had one, but it died. But I was I was expecting to catch another one at some point. I don't know. Maybe it's because I got a story I critted the Starly and Justin died. But I would have expected to have a Bidoof by now. Alright, Aerosmith. Smash some rocks. And now we get to fight another Zubat, except this one is slightly lower leveled. And no, I'm not allowed to run. <laughs> this is why caves are the worst thing ever. I also want to buy repels before a turn of forest for one big reason. The old chateau. Now, in Diamond and Pearl, it, after you completed the game, you could catch Rotom in the old chateau. But only th from 8pm through 4am. In Platinum, on the other hand... You can catch Rotom at any point in the game from 8 p.m. to 4 a.m. So I want to repel through the old chateau and catch Rotom. Do you fight? So yeah, that's my master plan. This is still the same route. Ravage Path is just in the middle. Do you want to hear about the scent of flowers? Here is our first, like, one of the first new trainer classes. It is the Aroma Lady. This is Aroma Lady Taylor. Yeah, I think all we fought up to this point is youngsters, lasses, and workers. Oh, oh god. I meant it B! Well, magic crap. Splash. And then let's go straight to Donut because she resists it. Donut's super weak, though. You know what? I kind of want a story just to finish this off, but Donut does need levels, so I'll just speed it up. Because a do Donut is just weak. Alright, Supersonic. Thank you for not missing this time. And Astonish. But he flinched. Astonish. Confused. Used growth, that's fine. Flinch. Water Sport. Completely useful, good job, buddy. Totally have a fire breathing Zubat here. And a crit again. Cherubi, okay. I cannot wait for Donut to get wing attack. So let's go into Magic Crap. And then back out into Donut. And rinse and repeat, except you're actually weak to bugs so I can actually spam leech life after I confuse you. You miss Donut! Donut! Donut make me switch out to Astoria, please. Okay, let's try a leech life, then we probably have to switch out soon because leech life... Or not leech life, leech seed. Step to Okay, yeah, let's go into Astoria. Come on, Donut. I'm trying to train you. I hope you get wing attack soon. I think you get wing attack at 13. If not, there's a TM for pluck around here, which I can just give you. 
I think it's actually this. Nope, that's an awakening. We can now play Fire Emblem in Pokemon Platinum. And here's a bug catcher. I'm definitely going to use Astoria for you. Still going to speed this up because we are actually... I don't need to because we're kind of around the same level. Why is Donut so bad though? <laughs> I know I complained about Astoria and... But, like, Astoria had decent moves. Tackle is a decent move in the early game. She was just doing nothing... Uh, now she's got wing attack and she's really good. So it's cool. Donut has weak moves and needs to rely on confusion, but can't really hit that to save her life. And Cricketot would have loved to have you instead of a Bidoof, but the Bidoof died anyway. So I Cricketot, probably know that Cricketot would be dead, but I don't know. I would have actually loved to use Cricketune. I think Cricketune's pretty cool. And yay. Okay, and Astoria is level 13 now. Astoria wants to win double team. Sure, why not? It's more useful than Growl. I can use it in a pinch if I need to. I don't know. In general, I think evasion moves are kind of dumb. But, I don't know. Whatever we need to do. Alright, this next trainer is a double battle. So let's put Donut in the front. And then we'll switch over to Aerosmith and Scar, or Turtonator and Scar, one of the two. They have double Pachirisu, which rules Astoria out. We can one-shot this trainer, can't we, Liz? We're the strongest in our class. I just noticed half, half of my team is weak to electric and the other half resists it, or is immune to it. But yeah, they have Pachirisu. Twins live and Liz. And they use Pachirisu and Pachirisu. So let's instantly switch out Magikrap and Donut for Scar. And you know what, let's go Turtonator just because Aerosmith had, has had some spotlight today, so let's use Turtonator. Now, these, I believe both these patch races know Growl, Double Team, and Spark. Which means they can either mess with our attacking moves, mess with our attacking moves. Oh wait, no, Quick Attack. Growl, Quick Attack, and Spark? Or, I don't know what they have. I don't know. I think, I want to say they have double team though. But Razor Leaf hits both, so. Okay, no, they're just going to use quick attack. And attack quickly. This, this time they're going to double into Turtonator. Scar is tackled, and now Turtonator can Razor Leaf. Which hits both, so it's all good. Yep, decent chunk of damage to both. Let's tackle you this time. Okay, no, it looks like they don't have Spark. So I could have gone into Astoria, but I didn't know. Didn't want to take any chances and... What? Okay, so I've had my Pearl game since like two... Since I have about 2007, and I've only ever had Razor Leaf... That I... I didn't actually know Razor Leaf had 95 accuracy and not 100 until like this year. And now it just missed twice on me. Come on! Sure, just keep plinking Turtonator. And oh, Scar. I actually need to switch out Scar. Really? <laughs> really? Really? Come on, I, I'm not like. I don't. Okay, there. You're down. Magikrap and Donut and Scar and Turtonator all gained XP. Scar, tackle this one. Turtonator, Razor Leaf, both of them. Okay, gonna switch out Scar. I was gonna switch out Scar if that missed. There. Alright. Yeah, I was actually gonna have to switch out Scar if that missed. Magikrap is now level 10, only 5 more levels until he can tackle things. And Scar is now level 12, only one more level until he can spark things. And nobody else gets levels. Oh, 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 but wait. And now that you're behind, you can search your deck for any two cards. And just put them into your hand. Yes, I went there. <laughs> is this Pluck? Pluck, Pluck. 
a no click would be helpful, I guess, because. Hmm. Let's just use Aerosmith this time. Because I haven't actually used Rock Throw at all with Aerosmith, just Rock Smash. So I kind of want to do that. Alright, Aerosmith, use Rock Throw! And Aerosmith can now use Rock Throw again. Just throw some music at them. There. Guess that Chinx could say that was a hard rock. That was awful. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> TM09 Bullet Seed. I could give that to Terratinator, but doesn't really need it right now because Razor Leaf. And here we are in Flow Aroma Town. I think I might have to end off the episode in Flow Aroma Town. Or no, let's fight some more shady grown ups. Just because I want to. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure Pluck is in Flow Aroma. So I want to find Pluck, then go fight some shady grown ups. Because there is another Team Galactic fight up ahead. And then we'll call off the episode. Do you give Pluck? Only if they're attracted by the sweet scent of honey. A cute sense of smell. Aroma of honey from very far away. Do you give pluck? Nope. Yay, for flowers. Do you give pluck? Yeah, Team Galactic guys in snazzy outfits came along. Went to the meadow past the flowers here. Do you give flowers? No, or not flowers. Pluck. Do you give pluck? Gracidia flowers? Hmm. So it looks like Shaman was definitely part of this game. Cool. Wasn't sure if it was introduced in Platinum like Arceus or not. Barren desolate hill long ago. People started planting flowers on it because it was a sad, sad place. And then one day, someone expressed thanks for the blessing of nature, and then the whole hill burst into bloom when Shaman, when Shaman showed up. Yes. Oh, thank you, Team 88 Pluck. So I can now have Donut fight the guys. Alright, let's go find some shady grown-ups and fight them. Could give it to Astoria, but she's got wing attack and Donut doesn't have any good moves at all. So yeah, let's put Donut to the front since... Yeah. Alright, to the shady grown-ups! That's like the catchphrase of this episode. Oh, are we not allowed to fight you? Oh no, I have to do the wind works. Alright, cool. I thought I was gonna have to fight them. I know. Anyways, that's gonna... I want to say this episode's been relatively long, but I want to catch something in the valley... I'm gonna catch my valley wind works encounter and pluck some berries. Chesto berry, yay! Yeah, Aerosmith is gonna have one more bout of one more huge bout of usefulness coming up because Mars is actually pretty tough, and her fat cat for ugly. All right, help, help, trainer, please! I want to see my papa. My papa and I lived at the Valley Windworks, but then a whole bunch of people dressed like spacemen came. They kicked me out, and they're making my papa do something. So yeah, we have to go rescue this girl's father. You know what? I'm going to save my Valley Windworks encounter. On Friday, I believe I can catch Drifloon there. So yeah. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you guys on the next episode of Pokemon Platinum. Probably this Wednesday. So yeah. Please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you like my content and want to see more. Bye bye